This is my Back to Blue t-shirt. It's got a little black state of Kentucky and a little white star over Clay County. <laughs> City of Hope, Manchester. I'm sorry, I giggle every time I hear it and every time I say it. And on the back, in big black blocky letters, it says, Back to Blue. The material of the shirt is heavy. The letters are heavier. It's hot. I don't like this shirt. I don't like the design at all. But you know what I fucking love? The message this shirt is trying to send. That I'm with the police. Because I am. See, I spent nine years of my life working in corrections. If I hadn't mentioned that before, I'm pretty sure I probably had. I'm sure. Probably ran into a home ground. But I worked alongside many different branches of law enforcement. By that, I mean they brought in a lot of different inmates. I had to interact with a lot of different cops from uh, Kentucky State Police, Kentucky Vehicle Enforcement, to Manchester City Police, Clay County Sheriff's Department, uh, Fish and Game, Railroad Police, which I didn't think existed until they came in, and I thought it was a joke. I swear to God, I thought it was a joke. And then, of course, you know, down the line, you know, that I've not had the honor of working with is, you know, bicycle cops and mounties which would just be awesome, but also horrible in Clay County. But anyway, to get this out of the way real quick, amongst those different branches of law enforcement, I have seen and interacted with a number of absolute asshole cops, real fucking jerks. And I don't think it was much too much to do with the badge as it was the man behind it. Just some grade A pieces of shit, some of them. I've even had words with some that were a little too big for the britches and had to be reminded that they didn't have to come into my jail. And if they couldn't show me and my people respect that we deserved, they could step back out to the sally port and fill out their ticket before they came in. Slide it under the door if need be. But any, I'm sorry. In any case, also, on the other side of that, met some guys that happened to wear a badge that were some of the best people I ever met in my life. Some of my favorites. Two of them in particular. Manchester City Police Officer Jeff Collin and Kentucky State Trooper Josh Wilson. Both of them good friends, good men, do anything to help you out. They've done a lot to help me, done a lot to help my family. They've been there for us they didn't have to be. Had no reason, no obligation outside of the damn badge. But they were good cops, really good cops. Can't find much better in our area. But anyway, and then, you know, I guess you could say over the years that if we're gonna start equating this to like movies, to, to movie characters, I've met my RoboCops, I've met my Judge Dreads, minus the executioner part, I guess. Josh Wilson, I have to say, dude, you are you are the John McClain of, uh, of our area. You really are. You are, and I feel like at any moment, you are a yippee ki motherfucker and a Sam Jackson tag along the way from being straight up John McClain. You still got hair, though. God bless you. You still got hair. Keep that hair, man. That's what makes you not Bruce Willis. You got this. Hold it down for us. And Jeff... A few days ago, you posted on Facebook something about a foot pursuit, and I swear all I could hear in the back of my head was you yelling at somebody going through the woods, Dirt or alive, you're coming with me. I mean, you're not as stiff as Robocop, but I could see you saying it. And don't you sit there and grin and act like you wouldn't. You would, you know you, you probably said it. You probably have said it. It's why it keeps popping into my head. You probably said it before. Never met any cobras, though. Never met any cobras. Don't, I, I met some guys that thought they were Murtaugh and Riggs, and that's Lethal Weapon. That's not that crappy-ass TV show. I'm talking Danny Glover and Mel Gibson, Lethal Weapon. <sighs> TV show remakes, MacGyver, kiss my ass. What I'm getting at, my, my main point here, humor aside, is I've met some great cops. I've met some horrible cops. But I've met a lot more horrible people that I've met bad cops. And the people I've met, and I'm not talking about inmates, because a lot of those are good people that just caught up, got caught up in bad situations. But a lot of the bad people I've met, you know, I would take one asshole cop 
over a hundred asshole civilians that think they know better than the law. I know it's gonna rub a lot of people the wrong way. I don't like being political, but cops get a bad rap nowadays because of the, I'm not gonna say poor decision making, but because of bad circumstances involved in the decision making that some cops have made. And the thing about it is that it's not that all these bad cops or these cops that are getting this, this press, it's really just cops in bad situations or maybe bad people. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna pretend that they were in the right. Bad cops getting good press. But way too often, the good stuff that, that law enforcement does gets brushed under the rug and no one even pays any attention to it. For every story of someone shooting someone that may or may not have been unarmed, that may or may not have robbed a store before they got to that officer, that may or may not have been a threat, there are a dozen others of a cop that went out of his way to do something nice for someone that no one will ever know about. It becomes a sidebar or a, a two paragraph column in the newspaper. It doesn't make national headlines. It doesn't make the television. And that's sad. Too often as a whole, our society focuses on the negative instead of the positive because it just it makes for interest, more interesting reading. And it's sad. speaking for a moment while I'm talking about the police. But these people, for better or worse, happen to be wearing a badge, but they have stepped up where the rest of society does not, and they are protecting us. And they're thrust into situations where they don't have time to 100% perfectly assess the situation to see the threat level. They are forced into a situation where they have to react in the best way they know how at the moment. Some don't react as well as others. Some react a little too quickly. Some nail it. But let's take the average person and throw them in the exact same situations and see how well they react. Let somebody break into your house and you've got a handgun and you don't know what the fuck they've got. And let's see how quick you are to pull the trigger on them. Give them a fucking break. They're doing better than most of us.